Hello, thank you for taking the time to look at this software product developed by Athena Tech. It is a point of sale for a dry cleaning application. Here on the left hand side we have three different um, icons, one for drop off, another one for pickup, and another one for price manager. Um, in the drop off area of course is where the client comes in and we take their information. If it's a new client we'll have to do a save. If it's an existing customer we can do a search via customer ID or via entering the first, the first two letters of the first letter of the last name of the person that we're searching for. Uh, in this area here you will be able to see if there are different customers with the same uh, first letter or, or, or two letters. Uh, this area shows the different services that the dry cleaning can provide uh, to include laundry, leather, leather and suede, uh, to do tailoring, press, uh, shoes and bags. Uh, we're going to uh, quickly do a search for a customer that start with the letter T. Uh, as you will be able to see, we enter T, uh, we do a search, and we identify there's a there's already a customer there called Torres Armando, but there's a possible other customers. If that's not it, we take a look at it, and there's another one called Temple there. Uh, once we select Temple, the data gets filled up automatically and the member ID changes. Now, we can also do a search based on member ID, such as if we do 10 search, we get uh, Taurus, or we can clear it and we can do ID 11, and in this case, do a search and it is Temple. We're going to go ahead and create a new ticket. There's a ticket uh, number 77 that was just created. A new row was uh, put in place for you to start fitting it up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and choose a two-piece suit. Uh, the price automatically, as you can see, is $15. That's the price that we set. The price changes also based on the material selected and based on the description. In this case, uh, uh, the material added $2 and the other one added $5, the description. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to select pickup. So we're going to go pick up this, the, the clothes from the customer. In this case, you see the price has changed already. And although we're selecting the same item, but the fact that we did a pickup, there's a price difference of $2. And again, all this can be changing price management. We're going to go ahead and we add the tailoring also. We're going to choose a blouse and we're going to select uh, to fix a hole. Um, I see fix a hole, uh, this happens to be a $19 hole, which is a pretty big hole. We're going to adjust that price on the table. We go to tailoring. We look for a blouse, which is item 5. We go to the right and we find fix a hole. The call that says fix hole. And there, from 19, so we're going to change that now to 5. We press enter, we go back to drop off and we reselect fix a hole and there you have it fix a hole um, now it is also possible for us to change the, 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 the price directly such as we just did right now seven we save it in our case we're not going to print it so we'll just cancel the print uh, and we're going to edit see what we were safe as you can see, it was saved, but it didn't have a pickup date. We're going to add a pickup date, and we're going to save again. Cancel. And now, now as you'll be able to see, there's the, there's the pickup date now. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to clear this, and we're going to go to pick up. The customer's coming in to pick up uh, its item, his items. His customer ID, I think it was 10. Um, Let's do a search. Uh, and no, it was not 10. Let's see 11. There you go, customer 11. Um, there's the ticket number 77. If we don't include the ticket number there, we try to do a cash out. It, it reminds you that you have to actually put in the ticket there because you can have multiple tickets already in line. So 77, and we do a quick cash out. When we do a quick cash out, the ticket goes into the history. So you will no longer be able to see it if you do a search for it because it's already cashed out. 
the only way for you to actually see is by looking at the history and there you will find that there are other tickets associated with it but this is the, the client's history so again once you cash out it'll tell you the cash out date right and uh, and uh, you'll have the history of the customer available to you as I mentioned before in price manager uh, you can not only add the prices but you can also in fact uh, add items for example you can add item uh, test for presenter it will enter the default values and then from there you can modify the values as needed that is uh, basically there's a lot of other functionality to it but in a, in a nutshell that's what it, that's what it does it manages the customer uh, the customers and the customer assets which is the dry cleaning services uh, dry, dry cleaning items that the customer has sent to you it also gives the owner of the store the possibility of identifying quickly which tickets are in the store what clothes in the store and be able to remind the customer that he has items to be picked up thank you very much for your time and i hope you enjoy it for any more information please call athenatech.com 303-800-3000